السلام علیکم ہیلو ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس آئی بٹ رفی لیکچر آف زولوجی اور گوئنگ ٹو ڈیلیور ویڈیو لیکچر ٹو مائی الیونتھ کلاس اسٹوڈینٹس ٹوڈے از یور ٹاپک از فائلم پلیٹی ہیلمنٹس جنرل کیریکٹرس آف پلیٹی ہیلمنٹس So we we'll start this topic. The Pleiades elementus is derived from the Greek word, Greek word Pleiades, flat, and elements were elements. verb this phylum belongs to kingdom animalia this was first gagetia scientist gagetia 1859 gagetia 1859 please Thread were in a separate group. Place this thread were in a separate group and gave the term Pleiades helminths and gave this term Pleiades helminths. Give the name of this phylum Pleiades helminths. The members of this group are Taper. Taper. तीन एसोसिएशन जो अधिकार हैं, फ्लू को, लिव लेवल फ्लू, बलर फ्लू, लेवल फ्लू, बलर फ्लू, बलर फ्लू, पलेंडेरिया, पलेंडेरिया, एसिड These are the members of this group. These are the organisms of this phylum Pelagi helminths. There are about twenty thousand species. There are about twenty thousand species of Pelagi helminths. There are about twenty thousand species of Pelagi helminths. If we go for the general characters of this. Phylum. First is habitat. Habitat means the living place of an algae. Pleiades helminths are the parasites. Endoparasites. Parasites means the organism which derives the food from the other organism. Which depend on the other organism is called a parasite. If we go, for, if we define the endoparasite, endoparasites, parasites which live inside the host, a parasite which live inside its host is called endoparasite. Suppose tapir. Rarver pre present in the intestine of the human being. These are the which live inside of our body. This is called the endoparasite. Ectoparasite is that live outside of the body. And epiparasite is a parasite feed of another parasite. This is the habitat. There are the parasites. Worms are mostly parasites. Endoparasite. Found in animals, including human being, but some flat worms are free living. But some flat worms are free living. Terrestrial, terrestrial means we live on the land, there and terrestrial and marine. So I will repeat this 
first point in the Worms are mostly parasite, endoparasite, found in animals, including we people, human beings, but some plant worms are free living, terrestrial and marine. Second point is symmetry. The plant worms are the plant worms are bilateral symmetry. They show they show bilateral Symmetry. If we define the bilateral symmetry, bilateral symmetry is body can be divided into two similar hollows through one gland. Body can be divided into equal parts is called the bilateral symmetry. Third point is level of organization level of organization Le third point is the level of organization the platforms have organ level of organization the platform or organ level of organization The platforms are organ level of organization. Now another point is another point is third point is level of organization. Platforms are organ level of organization. Now, third point is there is no body cavity. There is no body cavity or shiru. Third point is there is no body cavity or shiru. They are assimilated organism. They do not have any cavity in between body wall and gut wall. They do not have any cavity between body wall and gut wall. Fourth point is respiration. How they respire? Respiration occurs through general body surface. Respiration occurs through general body surface body surface this is the third point respiration respiration occurs through the general body surface now first point five point is germ layers germ layers they are triploblastic Germ layers, from the evolution point of view, they are the first triploblastic animals. They are the first triploblastic animals. Triploblastic animals. From the evolution point of view, they are the first triploblastic animals. Consist of three germ layers. Consists of consisting of three germ layers. Consists of three general layers ectoderm, mesoderm, endoderm. Ectoderm, mesoderm, endoderm. This is the fifth point. I will repeat this point. From the evolution point of view, they are the first triploblastic animals. That is, Consisting of three germ layers, ectoderm, mesoderm, endoderm. Now, sixth point is the regeneration. Regeneration. First, we define the regeneration. It is the process of renewal of restoration and growth. It can occur at the level of cells, tissue, organ. 
It is common in Hydra, Planaria. This resurrection is common in Hydra and Planaria. Suppose if an organism is cut into pieces, each and every piece is able to produce new individual by power of regeneration. So this is the definition of the regeneration. This is the fifth point regeneration. Regeneration here, it is well marked in some chamber. It is well marked in some flat worm. It is well marked in some flat worms. Regeneration. It is well marked in some flat worms like Panaria. Like Planaria. Because Planaria possesses how regeneration capacity? Because Planaria possesses high regeneration capacity. Regeneration capacity. And this is the now under point is seven point is they have the definite head and tail. Definite. These flat worms have definite head and tail. Now eighth point is eighth general character of the flat worms or body soft and unsegmented. The body is soft and unsegmented un unsegmented body is soft and unsegmented this is the another point the body is soft and unsegmented we can say without the segmentation without the segmentation now another point is well developed sensory Another point is well developed sensory organs. Well developed sensory organs. Developed sensory organs. Well developed sensory organs. Well organ. We can see nervous system. Nervous system is well developed of these flat worms. And the point is the body is soft. I already told the body is soft and dorsamentally flattened. Body is dorsamentally flattened. Body is dorsamentally flattened. It may be leaf like or ribbon like. It may be leaf like or ribbon like. Now, another point is 13 point. If you go for reproduction, how they reproduce, how they reproduce of their own organs. The animals are generally hermaphrodite. The animals are generally generally hermaphrodite. Hermaphrodite or bisexual. If we define the word hermaphrodite, hermaphrodite when both male and female reproductive organs are present, when both and male and female reproductive organs are present. Are called the hermaphrodite or bisexual organ. Or we or we define other way uh, this when uh, when the process these are the organisms in which male and female sex are present. The organisms in which male and female sexes are present are called hermaphrodite, bisexual, monoecious. This is so. This is the point. The reproduction. They are the generally hermaphrodite and reproductive organs are well developed. And reproductive organs are well.
well developed. And sex are not separate. Sex is all known separate. Sex is all known separate. And fertilization is internal. Fertilization is internal. They are generally hermaphrodite, bisexual, and sexes are not separate. And in these organisms, plant animals, fertilization is internal. Now, 40 point. 40 point is appendages. Appendages. There is no appendages. There is no appendage. There is no locomotory appendage in plant world. There is there is no locomotory locomotory appendages. There is no locomotory appendages in flat worms. In flat worms. So another point is digestive tract. Digestive system. Digestive system means how they digest the food material. So, digestive system of these blood worms. Digestive tract if present is incomplete. Digestive tract if present is incomplete without ends. Digestive tract if present is incomplete. Without anus. And digestive system is absent in tap worms. Here, there is no digestive system in tap worms. Now, another point is excretory system. You know that excretion is the process by which waste products are removed from the body. Toxic substances or removed, our body is called excretion. <coughs> so, excretory system, excretory system of these plant worms or excretion occurs by special cells. Excretion occurs by Special cells, special cells called clam cells or protonephridia. The excretion occurs by special cells called protonephridia or clam cells. Ammonia is the chief excretory waste. Ammonia. Is the chief excretory waste? Excretory waste. Then they excrete ammonia. So, this is the excretory system of these phylums, plant elements, phylum. And now, another point is development is net. Development. Is indirect. The element is indirect. Life history often includes larval stages. Life history includes the larval stage, so we call the development is the indirect. Or development through many larval stages. Development through many larval stages. So, dear students, this was the topic. Of general characters of flat worms. So, rest is okay. Thanks.